Hey guys, Jesper here. It's uh, time for a new video. And uh, this time I actually got a screen recording software running on my studio computer, uh, which kind of opens up for uh, a little bit of more possibilities for my future tutorials. Uh, and today I'm just gonna make sure that it runs well. And uh, to, to make use of all the features, I'm just gonna show off a little bit of uh, my new track airbase back um, a little bit sort of behind the scenes on how it um, looks and how I've arranged everything and so forth so if you're interested in knowing how I um, how I've arranged the track and uh, just uh, keep watching and hopefully this is getting recorded the way I'm hoping it to be so let's just start off and have a listen <laughs> If you know the track, you definitely uh, recognize it. Um, as you can see, there are 18 channels uh, for this track. That's uh, a little bit less than I'm uh, usually working with. Uh, but for this track, I mean, it's called Back. Um, and there's a reason for that. I tried to keep it as um, as a little bit old school. I didn't, I, I used like straight out of the box uh, percussion loops and I didn't tweak them or anything. Just wanted to be straightforward all about the the, um, the energy and and um, sort of the old way of, of building tracks and, and stuff so let's just uh, check and buy um, channel by channel the first channel is um, just a side chaining channel which runs throughout the track but it's muted but I just use it as a um, to side chain uh, the bass uh, percussion some some of that and uh, then regular stuff, we have the kick. Nothing too fancy there. A little auto filter that is uh, not enabled. I believe I've filtered it. Uh, frequency, no, I believe it's just an old thing running unless... No, <laughs> I believe that's just an old old thing. Um, I probably tried something and it didn't work out. So it's just a... Um, an inactive uh, effect. I have some volume fading on the on the uh, kick there, but nothing too fancy. We have the second bass line. Oh, sorry, the first bass line. And here's a lot more going on. We have a silenth uh, running, and we have a, a trash filter, the isotope trash which kind of makes most of the whole uh, sound of the bass. If I turn it off, it would sound completely different. And we have some other ones, loudness. And we have the bass line effect. It's a, a, a recent favorite. And what it does, it you choose a um, frequency, and then you decide uh, because some of you might know that uh, previously when uh, vinyls were released, yeah, you'd prefer to have the bass um, centered, the bottom, the very, very low end. And uh, it's just a way to make it a little bit more uh, tidy and, and neat in the, in the mixing. So for me, this is a perfect tool. So you just basically make everything below this frequency go uh, totally uh, one channel. You can decide how much you want it and uh, at what frequency. So uh, let's hope. let's move on. Uh, we have some EQ, uh, very high um, pitch there. That's mostly because of the trash plugin. Uh, it removes so much high end and I wanted some of that a uh, little bit of distortion. And here we have another filter just um, basically Uh, removing some uh, sounds I didn't uh, really want in that bass line. We also have the auto filter that I believe is working. Um, well, actually, this one isn't working either. It's been used. I, I'm terrible with removing stuff when I decided not to use them. Uh, let's pick up the pacer. I'm compressing it a little bit. Oh, well, quite heavily actually. And then I just side chain it through the first channel. Second bass line. 
Oops. Here you can see some uh, automation being drawn, and it, I believe it loops every um, every sixteenth. These ones, and I've actually just recorded these live and quantized them to to every every beat. So, oh, not almost. Maybe I just drew them and, and made them a little bit straighter there. Uh, nothing strange going on here. Removing some low end of the bass line, some delay, a compressor. I reduced the width of the track, of the bass line, because I think it went too wide. Now it's just to uh, keep the ping pong delay uh, to not go all over the place. Uh, Sidechain compression there as well. Then we have two groove loops. I'm not using the whole loop here. I'm just using the first to get the hi-hat there. And I've removed some low end. And uh, the other loop. A classic old loop and I deliberately choose that, chose that track uh, just because of it's such a familiar groove. All right, and we have the clap. Just a compressor, and I've also automated some of the volume to give it a little bit more uh, punch. You can try to re remove it, you can hear it. So there you have the difference there. All right, let's move along. Um, main lead, it's coming out over here. Nothing work, SLM, broken circuit, some heavy EQing, and some play, some reverb, nothing weird. Break lead, it's actually a gladiator arc tension. So I'm really giving away my tricks here, <laughs> or my lack of tricks actually, just an arpeggiator from gladiator, playing my melody. Some delay, some reverb, nothing weird. Strings are going through the whole track. Low end removed. Delay, reverb, and side chain compression. I'm using uh, the cylinder as well there. And we get to the sort of boring stuff and have a crash. Which is a little bit of reverb. Sweep effects. A little bit of reverb and I removed the low end. Another sweep effect. Oh. Nothing weird. We have the intro sequence. some frequencies I didn't like and um, same with the delay here it's very wide so I turn it down a little bit some reverb piano effect I used the pian tech and just reversed some piano with some reverb nothing weird portamental lead same here. Nothing strange. And then we have the little fill in here, which is automated on and off. Sorry. That's all. And uh, finally, just a reverse uh, symbol. That's pretty much all there to it. Um, there's some filtering going on here and there. Uh, nothing strange. Um, that's just the way it's built. Uh, I hope you learned something. Um, this was just mostly to try out the, the video recording software. So bear with me for some more juicy content in the future. All right, take care.